Hey everybody, it's April here from The Tattooed Type. Um, I have some exciting news. Uh, my husband and I, well, I guess I, am pregnant. Uh, officially nine weeks and five days. So I've been getting lots of morning sickness all through the day um, and evening, unfortunately. Um, I had some tests around today at the hospital just because it's still like eight days until I go see my OBGYN and I just was kind of worried and wanted to make sure everything was going well and they took blood, they did other tests, I had a ultrasound and everything came out awesome. All my levels, like as far as my blood goes and everything, was really good. Um, there is, like, a small tear, I guess, like, between the placenta. I don't, I'm not, I don't exactly understand, but the doctor said it's nothing to worry about. It happens a lot in first trimester. It's not going to cause a miscarriage. It's not going to cause anything to harm the baby. Once the baby grows a little bit, it'll fill up and go away. So he said there's nothing to worry about with that. Um, the 24th of September... I go see my my doctor, my OBGYN, and they may run similar tests as the hospital did. They may not. It depends. Um, but yeah, we're super excited. Of course, we don't know yet if it's like a boy or a girl. We know for sure there's one. No twins. Um, my biological father was a twin, so chances were that I could have twins. So I'm kind of happy. We're we. We're not. <laughs> I think for my first one, one is more than enough. One plus sailor, so. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. Um, I had been having pregnancy symptoms off and on for about three weeks. My mom just suggested, unless, and I thought I was just, like, getting sick, honestly. And my mom suggested that instead of just, like, taking a bunch of different medicines to, like, help my nausea and stuff like that, maybe I should just take a pregnancy test, rule it out, make sure that wasn't happening. And um, I took two urine tests at home, like the sick ones, and, yeah, they both came out positive. So then I went to, like, a pregnancy center where they can give you, like, a free test. Um, just to make sure, because I don't, I don't have like a primary care physician, so I couldn't really just go straight to the doctor. Anyway, so I went to a pregnancy center and they gave me a test. Came out positive. Um, like I said, my first OBGYN appointment is going to be the 24th of September, and this was the 12th that I found out that I was pregnant. Actually, my uncle's birthday, which is kind of cool. Um, and they thought I was only about seven weeks along, but it turns out I went to the hospital day just to, like, check in on things. I was, like, stressing out and worried about the baby, and I was having some cramping, nothing major, but I just wanted to get it checked out and make sure everything was okay, and turns out everything is perfect. Um, we're going to have a baby. I'm farther along than we actually thought, so I'm heading towards the closer to the end of my first trimester, which is awesome. I hear the second trimester is a lot more fun than the first one. Just like for right now, it's just like lots of morning sickness throughout the day. But at the hospital, they gave me two different medicines through an IV. Oh, my poor arm, guys. I don't know if you can see. It's not happy right now. And it's got some sticky stuff on it, but I don't know if you guys can see my arm. It's so not happy, but... On the plus side, they gave me a couple of anti-nausea um, medications through my IV, and um, so I haven't gotten sick, like, all day. This is the first day in, like, three weeks. I haven't, three and a half weeks, I haven't actually gotten sick. So, thank you, doctors at the hospital, for giving me medicine so I don't curl. <laughs> anyway, um, like I said, they said the little tear is, like, normal. Like, it happens a lot in the first trimester. The doctor said, you know, once my pregnancy progresses, it'll just, like, kind of, like, if the tear is, like, down here, he said, it'll just kind of, like, close up over time. So he said there's nothing to worry about with that. Um, what else? 
there's no way to tell right now like what the sex is but I did get to see the ultrasound um I just kind of caught a glance of it I didn't get any pictures or anything like that otherwise I would show you guys but um I did get get to see the ultrasound and it's like cool because it like looks like a little baby in there and I also saw it like kicking its feet around and moving around which is like really cool and um I also got to see its heartbeat like they pointed out the chest cavity all all the lady said was like here's the chest cavity and then I looked at it and I saw this little like which was like just very cool so, I'm just, like, super excited. Um, nobody got to go back with me. My mom went to the hospital with me. Um, I left my husband at home because he had to work today, and I, was, I thought I would probably be gone, like, a lot of the day, and I wouldn't, like, he would be late to work or whatever, and I didn't want him to be late. So, he stayed home, and he was okay with that and everything like that. So, um, so no, no one got to see it with me because my mom stayed in, like, the room that I was in, but, and I went to a separate section and had my ultrasound, but it was, like, it was really cool, and I'm glad I got to see it, even though it wasn't, like, here's a picture, I printed it out, or anything like that, but it was just, it was really cool to see it, that it looks like a little baby in there. Right now, it's, like, in the stage where I'm, like, nine weeks, five days, so I'm almost ten weeks, and it looks like a little alien, kind of. Like, I couldn't see all the features or anything like that. It was just, like, black and white. It wasn't one of those, like, 3D ones. But it was cool, because I got to see, like, its heart beating. I got to see, like, its little, little legs kicking around. So, I'm, like, super excited already that we're having a baby. And everything so far is, like, really good. There's just a little tear. But, like I said, the doctor said that's normal the baby will grow, and it'll seal up, the little tear will seal up, no problem, so, I just thought I'd let you guys know, we're pregnant, it's official, ah, we're gonna have a baby, and as soon as I get more information, like, probably the 24th when I go, they'll probably run a lot of the same tests that they did today at the hospital, or they might not, it just depends, because I'll have the test results, I can take those with me, but they might still want to, like, do an ultrasound just to look at the baby and make sure everything's okay or whatever, which is fine by me, because if they do one, maybe they'll actually put me on a little picture this time. That would be awesome. So, I'm trying to think of anything else I need to tell you guys. I guess that's about it. We're going to have a baby. Be prepared. I went and bought my first piece of, like, maternity clothes the other day, because... I don't know if I'm already gaining weight or what the deal is, but, like, everything feels tight to me. Like, my shorts feel tight, my blue jeans feel tight, like, just none of it feels comfortable. So, I figure let's just go for something that's, like, made for a big belly. Cause I already have kind of a tummy anyway, so I'm chubby, but, you know, I went ahead and bought, like, a maternity dress. So, um, maybe, like, the first time I wear that, I'll actually take a little video for you guys so you can see my little maternity dress that I got. Cause it's cute. I like it. I was, like, joking. I look like a snake that sold a basketball. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not, like, super skinny anyway, so of course that's not true, but I'm really excited. It was a complete surprise to us. I mean, we've been married for four years next month, and I turn 29 next month also, so October's going to be a big month, and I think I'll also be hitting my second trimester here in a couple of weeks, like about two weeks and a couple of days, so probably the end of September, I guess, today's the 16th, so yeah, like the beginning of October, I guess, I'll be hitting my, probably around my birthday, October 4th, I'll be hitting my second trimester, so we were a bit farther along than I than originally thought, but that's cool, because that just means I, like, made it through some of the worst parts of the beginning, hopefully, already. Anyway, I just want to share with you guys and tell you exciting news. Okay, talk to you guys later.